Yes, a sword shall pierce to thy own soul. Well, a sword did pierce to her heart when she was up by, not a physical sword, but a sword of pain and anguish when he hung up on that cross, when he was being crucified. And the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. And there was one Anna, a prophetess, the daughter of Phanuel of the tribe of Asher. She was of a great age and had lived with her husband seven years from her virginity. Now listen to this. She, she had been married seven years, and she was a widow for 84 years, okay? So here now, she must have been, uh, that would bring her up to uh, 91 years from the time she got married, and she must have been at least 110 years old at that time, because she must have been at least a teenager when she got married. Right? She wasn't no Muslim. <laughs> she could have been five or six. Okay. And she was a widow of about four score and four years and departed not from the temple but served God in fastings and prayer night and day. She was a, a righteous woman and a holy woman. And she coming in that instant gave thanks likewise unto the Lord, and spake of him to all them that looked for redemption in Jerusalem. And when they had performed all these according to the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee in their own city, Nazareth. And the child grew and waxed strong in spirit and filled with wisdom, and the grace of God was upon him. Amen. And uh, that's the end of that message. So you can turn that camera off, Koopa, before the battery runs down. <laughs> I just put in a fresh battery.